Hello everyone, or should I say Bula, because Bula is a Fijian word for hello. How appropriate, because Fiji is where we're going to go today. Fiji is located near Australia, approximately 11 hours from the U.S. mainland. We'll be joining MMO on a mission trip to the country of Fiji, and we invite you to come along with us as we serve the Fijian people. MMO, otherwise known as Medical Missions Outreach. Medical Missions Outreach is an organization that serves underdeveloped countries around the world to offer free, quality medical care to those who need it the most. They are comprised of medical professionals backed by non-medical volunteers to share the gospel using the tool of medicine. Medical Missions Outreach partners with Bible-believing churches around the world to evangelize the lost and disciple believers. My boys and I have almost no medical experience whatsoever. So we fit into the non-medical volunteer category. We do, however, have two available hands and very willing hearts. We, along with my mother-in-law, Therese, were assigned to the eye clinic. My wife, Asha, is an experienced RN, and MMO used her skills as a nurse in the provider's clinic. Although we worked hard in the clinic, we also had time to vacation in Fiji. That included visiting the beautiful beaches, riding boats along the shoreline, and seeing all the world famous snorkeling places up close. So come with us as we join MMO in the country of Fiji on this edition of Partido Family Adventures. If you subscribe to our channel, you know that in 2022, we served with MMO in the country of Peru. We had a wonderful time. In 2023, we traveled to Fiji. All right, good morning, everyone. Uh, today is August 16th. Uh, our, this is our start of our mission trip that we're going to Fiji. Uh, we just arrived at uh, Honolulu International Airport and we're in the process of checking in. How are you guys uh, looking forward to this trip? be fun we're gonna be uh, doing a lot of work we're gonna San Francisco first can you believe it so to get to Fiji we got to go to San Francisco and then and then go to Fiji so five we're hours wrong... five hours in the wrong direction <laughs> just kidding okay but uh, we're checking in right now so we'll see how everything goes all right we finally made it through TSA that was like hot went through TSA in Hawaii Oh, it's so hot, uh, it's stuffy, but we made it. Look, now we're, now we're getting ready to go eat some breakfast. So, all right. How, how are you doing? Good. You. Good? I think we're all hungry right now, so we're going to eat. Alright, we just arrived in San Francisco. Hey everyone. And uh, we're looking for our next gate. Next gate. We went six hours in the wrong direction. So we're heading to our next gate to Fiji, wherever that is. Here in San Francisco, you gotta exit the terminal to get to the next or next gate. So we gotta go to TSA again. So we gotta hop on this train right now. And uh, Go, go through TSA again. What? It's alright. Looks pretty cool. Huh? So we're getting on this train to get to the next, uh, our next stage. We're just kind of sad that we had to go through uh, TSA again. So uh, one thing that if you haven't been to uh, flown to Fiji is they have a weight limit on the hand carry. Like, uh, you know, on baggage, yeah, they, there's a weight limit, but on hand carry, there's also a weight limit. So on other airlines, as long as you can fit the, your hand carry underneath the seat, doesn't matter how much it weighs. Uh, when you fly to Fiji, 
it needs to be seven kilos. So my backpack, which fit under the seat, is too heavy for the airline. So I had to check that in. So I just realized that um, uh, I just pull out whatever I needed and that goes with me on the plane and my backpack is gonna be checked in as baggage. So just keep that in mind. And we finally made it. We're heading to Three Fiji. Three. Heading to our airplane as we speak. You ready, Zeke's? Yes. Yeah. 11 hours and 10 minutes on this flight. Woohoo! From San Francisco. You ready for 11 hours, 10 minutes? <laughs> Customs line, which is not too too much right there. So, so customs line we gotta go through. Okay, now that we got our bags and we've been through customs, we gotta go through another machine. Uh, it says you need to declare any snacks, food, or you're going to get fined $400. So here is the line out of the, out of the um, baggage claim. And uh, that is what we have to go through. We got to put our, our um, uh, water and drinks and everything. <laughs> we got to declare it. So I, I got protein bars and all that. All right. So we made it past the... Um, Customs. We made it past the baggage claim and we made it past the declaring of goods. We're outside the airport here in Fiji. How do you like it? This is our first breakfast with our, our uh, Fiji MMO group. in a minute he's working out some things uh, for us ahead of time as he's been doing fervently for the last few weeks in preparation for this trip and so i'm really really grateful for all that him and his team have done to make it possible to come here in such a short amount of time and we'll talk more about that later uh, but for today let me just give you a quick rundown so we're gonna go um our goal for today is to keep you awake and so we're not gonna sleep until the end of the day even though your eyes are gonna get heavy so we're gonna go and see uh just a beautiful beach area that's about um, probably an hour away, just to give you an idea. One of the many things that make Fiji different from the United States that I had to get used to is the driving. The driver operates the car on the right side. The car itself is driven on the left side of the road. And for those of you who drive standard, well, you gotta use your left hand. Day one, we're gonna go to the beach, kind of relax. You know, we just flew 16, 17, 18 hours. And check this out. This is a beach in Fiji. How do you like it? Cool. Cool? Yeah. Oh look, there's horseback riding right there.
let me thank you all for uh, coming with us here to our new destination of Fiji. Um, honestly, thank you so much for sticking with us through what was really an absolutely crazy transition that, um, looking back, I can't believe all that happened in the short amount of time that it did for us to be able to... So we're about to eat our first meal together. All right, this is called Lobo. Lobo? Is it called Lobo? I think so. Okay. All right. So this is a Fijian delicacy called Kolasami. Corn, corn beef, taro leaves. There you go. Cooking the milk. I taste the coconut. It has, it has, it has like a different flavor that comes out. Interesting. Churches that we're going to be uh, working at. We're going to be counting medication today. Ready? Yes. So, so this is the church here, and uh, and uh, our job today, I, uh, I'm guessing, is to count medication and place them in bottles. So that's what we're going to be doing for right now. What kind of music is playing? Country music. <laughs> basically. Okay, today's the uh, last day for our sightseeing, and we are in downtown. I'm not sure what town this is, but it's uh, Fiji, and uh, we are by a supermarket right here. So we'll be walking the streets, checking it out, see how it is. <laughs> All right, we are doing some uh, downtown walking around on our last free day before uh, mission start tomorrow for the clinic. How does it feel? It feels really hot. It's so hot. <laughs> It's it's humid. Yeah. Yeah. No it's there's no, there's no breeze. I mean, if there was a breeze, it'd be it'd be good. But but we are in Fiji, and you know it's it's not it's supposed to be cold. So I just gotta get used to it. But. All right. So on mission trips, we get a chance to experience different kind of foods. Here in uh, Fiji, there's a lot of Indians here, so we get a chance to experience a meal 
made by one of the families here at the church called, this is called Palau. It's like a rice dish. It's like sweet, some sweetness to it. I could use more spice to it. Very good. Good thing, Ziggy. Good. Fish and egg. Fish and egg. church and ready to uh, worship God with the uh, family here. Um, but please do help us uh, for the morning service. We're going to be at capacity today. So once we have Sunday school, if everyone help me just fill in toward the front. That would be a big blessing, especially our church family. Jesus. Here has been special just in the couple of days that we've been here, uh, getting to know uh, some of the members of the church, getting to experience some of your culture, some of the food, uh, the beauty of your island. It's just been a wonderful experience. And so we are really grateful to be here. And we'll find optical team we're getting set up hey wave <laughs> all right I'm gonna walk in so this is the chiropractic there's a doctor <laughs> and I'm just filming before everyone comes in so this is the nurses station <laughs> Woo! this is the uh, doctor's area I guess so so we are just a few minutes away from opening the uh, the clinic. And we have the boys here. All right, boys, you ready for the and member of the clinic? Okay. What are you guys gonna be doing today? Runners. Runners. We're so what? Guide people to where they need to go. So you gotta uh, the waiting room is across the street. Yes. All right, and you gotta get them. So if they need glasses, you're gonna go take them to where I'm at, and then if they need. Uh, if they're hurting, their back is hurting, you take them to the car park. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so it'll all be pretty fun. We'll see it's starting up pretty soon.
Good morning, everyone. It is about six o'clock Fiji time, and uh, this is the way we start our day at MMO. Uh, we can wake up early in the morning, get ready for uh, the day, uh, get ready changed, and uh, get ready for breakfast. So let's show everyone how we start our day. After we get up and change, uh, we make our way to, uh, over to breakfast and uh, we have a little friend that uh, is hanging out with us. <laughs> How you guys feel this morning? You guys tired? Yes. <laughs> yes, rest it up. Ready for breakfast though. Huh? Breakfast was served at 7 a.m. The hotel staff was extremely friendly and worked hard to make sure all the food was ready for us. There was always fruits, meats, and eggs mixed in with lots of local delicacies. It was a great way to start the morning. Some coffee. You guys looking breakfast? Yeah? All right, everybody's enjoying their breakfast. After breakfast, we would all load up in our three vans to take the 30-minute drive to church, which was a temporary location for the clinic. Upon arrival, before doing anything else, we would spend time in devotions and prayer. Give us a good day, Lord. Be with all that goes on. Be with uh, each patient as they come through. Help them to feel loved and cared for. Help them to understand the true message of the hope that they can have in you. And Lord, we give you all the praise for what you continue to do this week. Continue with prayer. Amen. Amen. All right, you guys. Uh, is he is he taking your stuff? <laughs> They're already fighting in the morning here. We're off to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> and then waiting for some patience right now. <laughs> At 8.30, well, 8.30-ish, remember, we're on Fiji time. The doors would open for the community to come inside and be offered free medical care. We all worked hard, but as you can see, we all were blessed knowing that we were helping someone who really needed our help.
right, it's lunchtime, and the uh, church here has provided lunch, so I got some sandwiches. So what you got? The chips? Yeah. So we're eating right now. Um, brought on here on the stage. <laughs> and um, just kind of taking a break. That uh, the, the eye machine is making my back sore. <laughs> so it, you gotta hold it in weird ways to get it to the right setting. But So my back's a little sore. I need to go in here later on. That's the chiropractic area. The clinic never closed during the day, so we all took turns eating lunch. After lunch, we all would get back to work and continue to serve the Fijian community. How does that feel? Oh, good. Oh, feel so good. <laughs> and and spray, I'll let you guys dive in. They are going to come take drink orders. If you have some, I think water's better. But, uh, Don't drink this water. Please. Now we won't drink. So wash your hands with the drink. <laughs> no, no, no. So just do drink orders. They have a bunch of soda options. Um, and, <laughs> oh, hey. So road <laughs> All right, so it's almost 8 o'clock at night. We had a long day and we're ready to go to bed. <laughs> Actually, we're uh, doing a little workout here. Good morning, everyone. We are here in the town of Raki Raki, um, which is the northern part, I'm guessing, of Fiji. Um, we're gonna spend the next two days here uh, at a new church and set up a new clinic. We have arrived at our next church that we're gonna be at. It's called Solid Rock Baptist Church. Here in Rakiraki. Uh, Raki Raki. Fiji, uh, and uh, we're getting ready to set up today. It's a lot, it feels nice and cool over here. You get the water? So this is our second location. Hey boys. And we're just getting set up here for the morning. And we're just getting breakfast this morning. Let's start of the day. So optical clinic is set up for day three. You see we're right here, getting ready to go. The rest of the clinic is getting set up right now. So we're in the middle of lunch right now, and uh, lunch provided by the church. Here's our lunch crew. All right, hey everybody. Hey. <laughs> Hi. What are you guys eating? Is that the is that the ham sandwich? Bologna. Bologna. I love it. How long have you been?
here on the beach, one of the beaches in uh, Fiji. How do you like it? It's cool. It's cool. It's nice on here. Getting ready to eat dinner. But it's very nice. Just finished our. Uh, we got one more day of a uh, clinic tomorrow. So just kind of enjoying the evening. food here. We're just getting the food passed around. Good morning everyone. Today is our last clinical day. Uh, they're taking a picture in the back uh, because this is our last our last day. Hopefully we're, we're gonna have a lot of patients, have a lot of work to do and we're looking forward to a wonderful time. So you can see the drone is taking pictures also. Uh, back there is a tribe group um, that uh, they can have one last picture before we have um, uh, clinical, and then uh, we're gonna start. So we're looking forward to a wonderful day today. Christian getting some, oh, some eggs, cool. All right, guys, our last breakfast too. <laughs> Lula. Okay, so we'll do a tour here. So this is where they come in. This is where the assessment is. So they get assessed here, and then they go through the clinic. We'll do a walk through here. And then we're gonna walk through. So if they have opti if they need to have optical, they'll come through here. So I'm gonna do a walk through here. There's Ziki. So we're coming through here. Gotta be careful where I stand. We're still doing microsurgery on the on the um, machine here. And we're doing the best we can to kind of fix it. That's interesting because now the black piece is but on there. Until then. So we're kind of, so as you can see, the machine is not working, so we're kind of free right now. But this is the uh, glasses. So here's what all the optical clinic. <laughs> And then we're coming in here. This is the pharmacy. Just gonna walk through the pharmacy. So this is where all the medicine is. Through here. <laughs> this, is where, this is where it happens. <laughs> and this is the readers area. Yeah. So we have um, lunch. I know that's what I we wanted today. Hot dogs with hot sauce. And uh -huh. Look at Asha. She just she just drowns her her uh, meal with, with with red hot sauce. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I, I put a little bit on mine. Fiji rope. All right. Okay. So now we are in the chiropractic area. So if you have a sore back, 
or, or anything with your leg or anything bothering you, this is where everything is done. So, so look at there. Sitting like driving. Let me see how you're moving. Okay. So you're gonna stand up. So you're gonna face that way. So I want you to just. And uh, we have finished our four-day uh, mission clinic and uh, it's been a wonderful clinic seeing all the patients. Ziki, what, what is the one thing that you like about this whole trip? I liked helping out and you know, getting this served. What, what, what exactly did you do? I was bringing people to the right area mm -hmm. that they needed to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. was, it, was, it, was, it, was it good? Yes. Was it? Oh, awesome. You want to go next year again? Yes. Okay, we'll find out where we're going to go next year. Christian. So you also uh, got to serve your uh, runner. Um, yes. What what is the one thing you liked about the trip? Um, one thing, um, like taking people from whatever the clinic to up to the um, evangelism. Evangelism was it was it a lot of fun? Yes. Sir. Yeah. I'm oh, glad. You you want to uh, go uh, to another trip next year? Yes. All right. So we'll see what we can do next year. But uh, this is a wonderful trip. Uh, we're cleaning up right now and uh, uh, getting ready for the next event. I think we have a, a church tonight and then we leave back home tomorrow. So. Okay, hey, video, yay! Say yay. wave! Yay! Woo! Yay! Woo. yay. So hey. This is after everyone, everyone's all tired. And <laughs> all right, bye everybody. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. See you. Yeah. Bye. Okay, we'll see you later. Bye. See you later. At the end of our four and a half days of clinic, we helped to serve 1,863 people. And out of them, 387 made commitments to God. What a blessing. All right, today's a travel day. We're heading to the airport right now. But on the way, we stopped at this place called the Bread Kitchen. And they have uh, cream buns. Paul got us some cream buns we're gonna try. So, uh, uh, he said that the the ones that we ate were were not authentic. So this is the authentic one. Oh, authentic one. Let's try. Just, just yeah. grab so this is the authentic yeah. authentic ones. Oh, wow. Look at you break it. You break it and you split it in half like this. Then you share the cream in between the two pieces, and voila. Even cream on both sides. <laughs> All right, so we made it to the airport. We're getting ready to uh, board, not board. We're getting ready to go through uh, security. And this is very sad. I have to dump my Fiji water. This whole thing was filled up and I forgot you can't take it through security. It's Fiji water. I gotta, I gotta dump it into here. We are here at the gate, getting ready to go back to Hawaii. Uh, first stop is Samoa. <laughs> so, but uh, this has been a wonderful trip. I enjoyed it. Uh, got to minister to a lot of people. Learn how to use the eye machine. I hurt my back, <laughs> but uh, it was well worth it. We got to uh, uh, serve a lot of people. Oh, God is doing a mighty work here in Fiji, and it was so great to see my babies hang out with the youth and with the other teens here um, who are sharing the gospel. 
Um, there are a lot of people to pray for with incurable diseases and ailments. So I have them. We love Fiji. We'd like to thank you for joining us on this edition of Partido Family Adventures and our mission trip to the country of Fiji. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are also on Facebook and Instagram. Give us a like when you log in. Thanks for watching and subscribing. And remember, it's always time for an adventure. Okay, we arrived in Samoa. So, here's the story. So, when we got to the airport in Fiji, we had to dump our dump our Fiji water. Okay, yeah, we gotta go through through the security. So we bought water at the airport so we can drink it on the plane. And then we got off the airplane here in Samoa, and we had to dump the water again, even though we're supposed to fly straight to. Well, we're, it's, a, it's a flight to the same, Hawaii. The same airplane. The same airplane. We had to dump our water. I think uh, Grandma and Mom had to dump the stuff that they bought at the Fiji airport, even though we're already past security. So, I don't know. Whatever. What do you think? Are you thirsty? No. <laughs> we, we tried to drink as much water as we could, but, but we're here in Samoa.